Hello and welcome to more Pokemon! You might notice that Freya right here does not have their hat on anymore and they've got a little bit of a hairdo. This is a weird feature that's in the game, but you can only do it when you're in handheld mode. When you go to play with Eevee in the handheld mode, depending on how you pet them with your fingers, depending on how many fingers you use or like which direction you pet them, it'll give them a different hairstyle and one of them is the one they have right now. So I'll try to start each episode with a different hairstyle. Let's go Eevee, we've got a Pokemaniac to meet and a new gym bag to get. All right, here we are exactly where we left off. Aya is still following behind us, but they're a little bit upset because, well, they're in pain. And the reason for that is the last episode, they got poisoned. So I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal that real quick, and we'll be right back. Alrighty then, we're all healed up, and the last episode, right at the end, we were able to see this Charmander up in the frame, so let's go talk to him here, and let's go talk to the trainer. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I feel sorry for my Charmander because it's not getting stronger, so I want to give it to a better trainer than me. Are you interested? Well, he's going to want us to have caught a certain number of Pokemon. We've already caught 298, so we're fine, but the one he wants us to catch 50 or more, so we are good to go. So we'll go ahead and take this Charmander off his hands. Of course, I've already got a Charmander, but why not get a second one, right? So let's go give it a nickname. Now, the first Charmander I got, I named Spyro. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and name Cinder, which is another character from the Spyro games. And we're good. So now let's go down here because there is a trainer, but there's also a patch of grass for us to catch a couple of new Pokemon. I saw your feet from the grass. Well, yeah, let's go actually beat this guy first, and then we'll worry about those new Pokemon. So we are going to go up against, it looks like a camper, Camper Shane, and just one Pokemon on this guy, which is a Spiro. Spiro is not exactly a good battle for Aya, as we've seen. I do want to try to still focus on Aya a lot today, because I want to get them leveled up for the gym battle. The gym battle is going to be a water gym, so Aya is going to be awesome for that, if we can get the levels. Without the levels, it's going to be tough, so we're going to try to level them up here. But against the Spiro, we're still going to swap over to Freya, and we'll go use some electric attacks here. So they go for a Growl that'll lower our attack stat, but that's really not going to matter. Our attack is so strong that we're just going to defeat them in one blow anyways. So let's go for Buzzy Buzz, and I think that's going to take them down in one blow. And it does! Down goes Spiro! I thought not! But Camper Shane, do you have any regrets? I hid because the people on the bridge frightened me. Okay, he probably has regrets, but let's go down here. Oh, Psyduck! What the crud, man? It took me so long to find you in the last episode, and now you just pop up out of nowhere. Oh, well. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this item down here, though. That's what I actually care about. Let's see. We have some th raspberries. Three of them. Nice. And let's start looking for those new Pokemon. Not Bellsprout. Let's just stand here and be very, very patient. Very patient. Game? Where's the Pokemans? Um... <laughs> Um, where's the Pokemans at, dude? Oh, there's one. Psyduck! Gosh dang it. Don't you run around like you're all cool and stuff, Psyduck? Oh, there's one of them! Okay, so there's one of the new Pokemon, and this one is going to be Meowth. We've seen this one before in Mount Moon, but we couldn't actually catch them then. So let's go put to use one of those raspberries we got. I think a Pokeball should still be good enough for this guy. It is yellow, but... Oh, I barely did it too late! Hopefully we can still get that. That will waste the raspberry, even if he, uh breaks out. All right, we're good. And there is Meowth. They are a normal type Pokemon. Appears to be more active at night. It loves round and shiny things. It can't stop itself from picking them up. How can you resist shiny stuff? I mean, I spent 20 hours looking for a shiny. I got my shiny Aya. Oh my gosh, Psyduck. Looking for a different Pokemon here. There's one more thing to catch here. And there it is. Let's go get him. Oh, I love this guy. And this is Venonat. So let's go use a Raspberry just like we did for that Meowth, and we'll see if we can catch him. This guy does love to bounce around, though, so we'll have to try to be pretty good with our aim. And he jumped at the last second. Stay put. Come on. Oh, I swear I got that in the circle. I must have barely missed it. So once again, we do not get an excellent, but does the Raspberry help us? It does. Okay. So we've now got Meowth, and we've got Venonat. All right, Aya and Freya leveled up, and Aya wants to learn Growth. I'll go ahead and show you guys what Growth does, but I don't personally plan to use it. So Growth will raise your attack and your special attack stat, but, well, there's just no move that I really want to get rid of, so I'm going to go ahead and not get Growth here. All right, and here's the Pokedex data for Venonat. You can see he's a bug and poison type Pokemon. Its large eyes act as radar. In a bright place, you can see that they are clusters of many tiny eyes, which is just creepy. We've got Pokemon to name, dude. You know, I did forget to name that new Rattata, so let's go name them. Oh, right, we actually cannot rename Rattata. You can't rename Pokemon that you get from a trade. So technically, we got this via trade, so we cannot change the name name. Oh well, but we can change these two. We're just gonna scramble up the letters of Meowth, and instead we're gonna make them Wee Moth. 
And we're going to scramble up the letters of Venonat as well. So instead of Venonat, they are going to be Tan Oven. And I'm going to go ahead and add both of those to my party. Well, adding them to my party to level them up just to get the evolutions, not to actually use. But all right, we're done with that, so let's go ahead and move on. Now over here, there's another route, and as you can see, Meowth is there. The stuff that we could catch on that route we just went over, you can also catch them here. <laughs> there's Venonat as well. Wow, they popped up super easily. But I do want to get this item. Now, I should mention that there is a special rare Pokemon here as well, and the special rare for this area is Squirtle. Squirtle is a Pokemon that back in the day was a starter Pokemon, so just like Bulbasaur and Charmander, they're kind of special. They're very good water-type Pokemon, so I definitely recommend getting them if you do want a water-type, but just like we've got a free Bulbasaur and we've got a free Charmander, a little bit later we'll also get a free Squirtle, so I'm gonna save myself the trouble and not catch the Squirtle here, and I'll just get the freebie a little bit later on. And let's go beat up this guy. Hey, dude, I just got down from Mount Moon, but I've still got gas in the tank. I don't know why this guy thinks he's a motorcycle. You're a human, dude, I think. <laughs> Hopefully he's not a robot. Hanker Fr uh, Hiker Franklin, I got his name. He's got an Onyx. Now, Onyx is a great battle for Aya because he's rock and ground type. He'll be super weak to grass type, and we do have that new attack absorb, which we got in the last episode. So let's go ahead and put it to use. With that said, Rock Throw is going to be very strong against Aya, but because we're going to do so much damage, we're going to heal up pretty much all of that damage we just took, which is very, very awesome. Well, not all of it, but we, we healed up a good chunk of it, so it kind of works out. As long as they don't one-shot us, we can heal most of what they do to us. You worked hard. Okay, buddy. He gives us his balls, and we're ready to move on to the next battle. There's actually going to be quite a few battles on this route. Just checking the bush to make sure there's no item. There is a ball down there, so we'll have to make sure we get that. But let's go fight this guy. Now this guy, he's going to be a bird trainer. Whenever you see these guys like the overalls and the hat, they're going to be a bird keeper, which means they really like to use bird type Pokemon, or flying type Pokemon, which are usually birds. And in this case, it's Pidgeotto, so not good battles. Not good battles for Aya, so we're going to go back to swap training. So let's go right over to Freya here. And this Pidgeotto is actually pretty tough as well. It's level 15. But Freya's level 18, so it's not too tough for them, especially with their marvelous moves, which you'll be seeing you'll be seeing throughout the playthrough, guys. The marvelous moves are very, very powerful. So we'll go ahead and use Buzzy Buzz here and take them down in one shot. Gosh dang, Freya, you're decent. I one shot your Pokemon, and I'm decent. If I'm decent, what does that make you, dude? Well, let's go talk to him, see what he has to say. All Pokemon have weaknesses, even the strongest ones. That's why it's best to race Pokemon of different types. That is true, although technically, at certain points during Pokemon's history, there were a couple of Pokemon that did not have any weaknesses, but once they added Fairy-type in Generation 6, I think now there's no Pokemon with zero weaknesses. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's no Pokemon with zero weaknesses anymore. But here we have a Diglett! This guy's gonna be a Ground-type, a good battle for Aya! So, let's go ahead and just hit him with that Absorb, see if we can heal up some of that damage we took from the Onix. Let's see, this guy's level 12. Now, Diglett's pretty fast, but they usually don't have very much HP, so we might be able to take them out in one shot. Oh, not quite, so we're gonna have to do a second one. But still, we're gonna heal up quite a bit from that, and we're very close to full health. We actually healed more damage than his Scratch dealt, so maybe after this one we'll be back to full. We just gotta heal up 7 HP to make that happen. And can we manage it? Can we manage a 7 HP, Aya? Come on! And no, because Diglett has such low HP, well, we only heal half of the damage we deal, so yeah, oh well. But we will get Aya up to level 13, very nice! I'm really hoping we can get pretty close to catching them up to Freya today. I knew I'd lose too. Oh, you gotta believe in yourself, man, believe in yourself! If your Pokémon gets confused, switch it out, that's a good tactic! That's true, with the secondary status effects like Confusion, if you swap them out, it gets rid of it, but the main status effects like Paralyze and Poison and Sleep, those do not go away just by swapping, so you gotta keep that in mind. This guy's talking about an SSN in the Vermilion Port, which is actually something we'll see in a few episodes, but for now, let's go battle Youngster Dan, and this guy actually does have two Pokémon, Starting off with an Ekans. Now, Ekans is a poison type, as we've seen, so not a great battle for Aya. I swear there's lots of good battles for Aya throughout the playthrough, it's just not so many right away. But you know what? We're still gonna try with the headbutt and see how we do here. We do get to go first, and we might get that flinch. Uh, no, but they're gonna go for Wrap, which is fairly weak. It's not a poison type attack at all. As you can see, it only did two damage, although it does get to hurt you after each turn for a few turns as well. Still, not that much. So we're going to go ahead and hit them with another headbutt here. And that should take down Ekans no problem. 
So let's go check out their second Pokemon here. And their second Pokemon is going to be Rutata. I'm gonna go ahead and do Absorb. I'm pretty sure we can kill him with two Absorbs and I'd like to heal up some of this damage if we can. And not only that, as you saw right there, he likes to go for that quick attack. So we can't, we can't go first. We don't get a chance to flinch with Headbutt. Honestly, that's something you're gonna have to get used to with a, a Paris is that they're kind of slow. So even if they did not have quick attack, they'd probably still be faster than I am. Oh wow, they actually survived! I really thought that would kill. I mean, each attack you do has a little bit of a damage range, so it doesn't do the same damage every time, so I think we just got a little bit a little bit low damage on that particular absorb. But third one, we'll take him down there. And down goes Youngster Dan. I'm not mad. You sure look mad. Actually, he looks terrified. Oh my gosh, look at that face, dude. On the SSN, I saw trainers from around the world. Awesome. I'm just so excited to get to the SSN, but we're gonna have to wait for that. Did I get the item back here? I did, okay. I've got I've got a bad memory, guys. Just gotta check the bushes, we're good. Now we did take some damage from that Rattata during the last fight, but thankfully we've got another hiker right here. Hikers are almost always great battles for Aya. So they're gonna send out a Geodude. This is a Pokemon we'll probably defeat in one shot. I mean, we defeated Onyx in one shot. Geodude's probably no, no issue here. And I'm hoping we can heal up all of that damage we've been taking. As long as they don't defeat me here. Level 14 Geodude. Oh, he goes for Bide. Okay. So Bide is an attack that will take a couple turns to absorb damage. And then after those couple turns are up, it'll unleash the damage back to you, but even stronger. But if you defeat him before the Bide gets time to charge, then it just does nothing. So Bide is a very risky tactic. But here's the thing. Hikers will often have Machop, which is actually a fighting type Pokemon. So, not the best for Aya, but it's better for Aya than it is for Freya. So let's see, what do we want to do here? I'm gonna go for Headbutt and see if we're faster. We haven't taken any damage, so we don't really need to absorb right now. We do get to go first, and we get the flinch! That's what I love to see, man! So, let's see if we can get another one here. If we can get a few more flinches, we'll just defeat him with no damage. We got two flinches in a row! Can we go for three? If we get a third one, then he's just gonna die next turn. No, he goes for low kick, but against Aya, that will not do very much damage. He's very low, so we might as well use Absorb just to finish him off and maybe heal up one or two points of damage. But yeah, Hikers are usually great for Aya, and this battle is basically showing why that is. You done got me, and real good, too! The Pokemon fanatic sure lives up to his name. Seems he knows about many rare Pokemon. Well, that sounds pretty nifty. Okay, right here we want to be kind of careful. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to her and let's go ahead and do this battle first. I'm a picnicker. My boyfriend is a camper. Oh man. But we have to be careful with the second trainer up there and you'll see why in just a minute. But let's go ahead and defeat Picnicker Kelsey. She's got one Pokemon and it's going to be a Goldeen. Now Goldeen is a water type Pokemon. However, they often will have a flying type attack, Peck. So that'll do a lot of damage to Aya. So we'll have to watch out for that. But I don't think it'll defeat us in one shot, so we can probably just heal up most of the damage anyways. Or they'll go for Super Sonic, which will confuse us. So we have to get lucky and not hurt ourselves in confusion. Come on, Aya, make us proud. Make us proud, dude. And we get through. Let's go for that Absorb. Can we defeat him in one shot? Not even close. Goldeen is pretty good on that special defense there. So we'll have to try again. You know, actually, I, I can't remember the stats that well. I can't remember if Goldeen is good at special defense or if they're good at uh, HP. But as you can see, yeah, Peck does a lot of damage. Please get through. Good. Okay, so we got through the confusion. Lots of damage. Oh, they're so close to being defeated. We might have to swap. I think a Peck would defeat me here. Or it'd come very close. Oh, we're just gonna roll the dice, guys. Let's just let's just see what happens. They go for a quick attack. What the crud? Alright. So in that case, I guess we're fine. We do hurt ourselves in confusion. If they did Peck, we were totally dead. Uh, we're just gonna try. I can go back to the Pokemon Center if I need to. Just survive. And, oh my gosh, critical hit at the right moment. Making my voice crack, dude. So there goes Goldeen. I should not have been stubborn. I should have swapped, guys. Oops. Okay, let's go for Headbutt and finish this one out with Freya. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. I, I guess I could have used a revive just to get the experience on Aya, but I think it'll be okay. Goldeen's not worth that much experience either. My conditioning isn't the best! Okay, so I'm gonna go back and heal and then come right back here and I'll show you guys what to do with that second trainer. Alrighty, we're back, we're healed up, and now I want to show you guys what to do with this guy. So what we want to do is go down like this, and then slowly walk up to him. Oh gosh, did I goof on it? Oh, please tell me I didn't. So you notice right there, there's an item at the top right. 
And when you go and uh, get in the side of a trainer, they'll walk up towards you. So the idea is you have to get them to walk out far enough that you can get behind them and get that item. If we don't do it right, we have to come back quite a bit later to get that item. So I'm hoping we did this right. And here is Squirtle. This is the Pokemon I was talking about that we could actually catch here. So if you really want Squirtle, you can find them on these routes. But I'm going to wait to get mine, like I said. We'll get a freebie in the next town, so I'm going to wait for that. I'm just going to go for Absorb. It looks like we'll have to do three Absorbs in total, but they're just going for Tackle, which is not a very strong attack. I'm actually kind of surprised that Aya is faster than this Squirtle here. So let's go ahead and heal up that damage with the Absorb. Right back to full. So they'll go for Tackle once again, but with this final Absorb, we'll probably heal just about all of the damage they just did to us. So yeah, Squirtle, not too much of a challenge for Aya. Oh my gosh, I healed up to 37 out of 38 HP, so we're down just one HP. Oh well, we defeated Camper Dustin. Oh man, oh well, my girlfriend will cheer me up. Did we talk to her afterwards as well? I wish my boyfriend were as strong as you. Whoa, dude! All right, so yes, we can actually get behind him, and that's awesome because right here is TM16 Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is an attack a lot like Stun Spore, which we have. Uh, it'll just paralyze your opponent. However, Stun Spore is not as accurate. Thunder Wave is more likely to actually hit. So Thunder Wave is a very, very good attack. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Yeah, in competitive Pokemon, if you're actually battling against other players, Thunder Wave is very common. It's very good in those situations. I personally don't use stuns that often when I'm just fighting random trainers because they're kind of easy. But yeah, if you're fighting other players, getting them getting them paralyzed is very handy. Yeah, against Oddish, uh, I might be able to do a headbutt, but I'm not going to risk it. I've already tested my luck a little bit too much against that Goldeen. I saw that I can't play it too risky. We got to still use Frey here quite a bit. It's a little bit unfortunate because right now Aya is only level 13. But we, I think we do have a rare candy, which we could use to level them up if we wanted to. So I might use that before the gym if I think we need it. But let's go ahead for now and just do some Sizzly Slide. Get this Oddish defeated. And there we go. And the Pokemon they're sending out next is going to be a Pidgey. Which, again, I is going to have some trouble with. So we're going to swap back and forth here. Let's just go for some Buzzy Buzz. And that'll defeat Pidgey, no problem. I mean, we defeated that level 15 Pidgeotto with Buzzy Buzz. I think we can defeat a level 12 Pidgey, no problem. I'm not jealous at all. Okay, I mean, I would be jealous of Aya. They are pretty cute. And Frey is cute too, I guess. You came from Mount Moon. May I have a Clefairy? Now, I've actually tried this. I've tried talking to her with a Clefairy uh, following behind me, and she doesn't say anything about it, so no, you can't do anything with that. But here we've got a Fisherman. You're going to see Bill. First, we battle. Okay. Well, Fishermen, as you might expect, usually have fish Pokemon, which tend to be water types, so they're going to be pretty awesome for Aya. So first off, he's going to send out a Magikarp. Magikarp is one of the weakest Pokemon in the game. Maybe the weakest. But as you've seen, once you get them to level 20, they do evolve into Gyarados, which is very, very strong. But as a Magikarp, they're very weak. The downside is not only are they weak and they go for Splash, which does nothing, does no damage, it does no status effects. Splash just actually does nothing. But the downside to Magikarp is they're actually not worth a lot of experience. So let's see how much we get right here. Level 14 Magikarp. And it gives us 55 experience. Not that much, but it is still enough to give us, get us level 14 here. Alrighty, there's our stats, and he's got one more Pokemon. I swear if it's in another Magikarp. It is not. It's actually a Krabby. Krabby, yet another Water-type Pokemon here. And it's actually a Pokemon that we can't catch yet, but pretty soon we actually will be able to add Krabby to our team. I mean, maybe not pretty soon, but not super, super far from now. So let's go ahead and hit him with that Absorb. Oh, almost one shot right there. Let's go for another one. It looks like Krabby is faster than us. And he's going to go for Vice Grip, which normally would hurt pretty bad, but not too bad on Aya here. Krabby's actually a pretty good attacker, but looks like we still got him here. Now, there is one more trainer to fight on this route. Aya is not topped up. Do I really want to walk all the way back to heal up, though? I don't know, man. I might just use a potion and be lazy. You're something. Thanks. The trail below is a shortcut to Cerulean City. Yep, we'll be taking that shortcut, but for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna be lazy, guys. Let's go ahead and just use a potion. We've got eight of them. I honestly will probably not use all of them because at this point, potions don't really heal that much. And as we get deeper and deeper into the game, 20 HP is just not enough to really be that useful. But this girl right here says this area is popular for dates. I'm a proudly independent coach trainer at a date spot. I'll let you know I'm pretty strong. Want me to battle you? Let's go do a battle. I'll give you a real workout. So yeah, as you know, coach trainers tend to be pretty tough, but I am going to try to let Aya do this one. The thing is, they're going to have a pretty strong Pokemon. It's going to be a Machop, which we've seen Aya can deal with. 
However, this one's not going to be level 14. This one is going to be a little bit higher. It's going to be level 16. And not only that, he knows a special move. So I'm going to go ahead and do Stun Spore right here. Yes, he knows Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss will allow them to do damage equal to their level. So he is level 16. So his Seismic Toss does 16 damage. The thing is, we got really unlucky right there. My Stun Spore missed. So that's kind of a bummer. So we probably are going to have to heal after this one. So we'll go for the Stun Spore. And right there, that'll make him slower than us. I was hoping to Stun Spore once and then spam Absorb, but now we're so low, I'm going to have to heal. Do we have a Super Potion? We do. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Super Potion because that will heal us back to full. Like I was saying, 20 HP from a Potion, not that strong. that will barely heal more than one Seismic Toss will do. All right, we get lucky and he gets stuck. So since we're already full HP, let's go for that Headbutt. We'll have a chance to flinch and he'll have a chance to get stuck and paralyzed. A pretty good strategy. Yes, it's working out beautifully right here as well. So we'll keep going for headbutt and just keep rolling the dice. Hope we get lucky. If we start taking some damage, I'll start going for absorb. And it looks like I it looks like it's time already. So yeah, without absorb, we could only take two more seismic toss. But if we absorb, we should be able to take three more, which will hopefully give us enough time to get lucky with the paralysis here. So let's go ahead and heal up. How much do we heal from one absorb? Oh, five. Not bad. And he does get stuck. Okay, my strategy is working, man. I got a little bit unlucky, so we had to use that potion. But other than that, it's going pretty smooth. So yeah, now we could take two seismic toss and not even faint. So we'll be fine. Because by the time he gets those two seismic tosses through, he's going to be fainting anyways. So even if he does not get stuck right now, we're still fine thanks to the absorb. But he does get stuck anyways. There we go, man. Hit him with one more absorb and down he goes. Down goes the chop. We got him. Am I the one who was coached? Maybe. And as usual for defeating a coach trainer, we're not just going to get the experience. We'll also get something special. TM15. Seismic Toss. All right. TM15. The best TM. TM15 is for Seismic Toss. It deals damage equal to the level of the Pokemon that uses the move, which I already explained, but there you go. So let's finally go inside this building right here. This is the Pokemon fanatic, the Pokemaniac, whatever his name is. This is his house. Hiya! I'm a Pokemon! <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm Bill! Call me Bill! I'm a true blue Pokemon fanatic! Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So, how about it? Help me out here! Um, no? No? Now don't be so cold! Come on, you gotta help a guy in such deep, deep trouble! What do you say, please? Okay, alright. Um, I, I'm not gonna say yes. I'm gonna climb inside the teleporter so you run the cell separation system for me. That sounds complicated, dude. I'm like 10 years old. You can do it from that PC over there. Okay. You're gonna do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging. I'm counting on you. Do not count on me, dude. You know what, man? Just for pretending I'm a calculator, I'm out of here. I'm not gonna help some guy who says he's counting on me. Jeez. No, I'm just kidding. We, ha we have to, so let's go back inside. We'll help him out. Okay, so let's go and interact with the PC. The screen says something about a teleporter. So yeah, he'll go right inside, and then we'll be good. Whoa, I should get in there. Don't mess this up, okay? I mean, <laughs> yeah, just trust a 10-year-old. Don't even tell me what to do. He started up the cell separation system on the teleporter. Hopefully all I had to do was look at it, because that's all I did. Whoa, suddenly it's a dude! Yeehaw! Dude, you're saying Wahe backwards. Thanks, bud, I owe you one. Hey, you've got your Pokemon box right there in your bag. Good job. If you ever catch too many Pokemon and your box gets full, send some of those Pokemon to Professor Oak. I bet he'd be mighty thankful. Oh, look at me, I'd forget my own head if it weren't attached. I should do something to thank you too. You did save me after all. Here, maybe this'll do. And we get the SS tickets. We heard about the SSN. This is a ticket to ride that, so we'll actually get to go on a cruise ship. The problem is we actually have to get to it, which we can't really do right now. They invited me to some party on board, but I can't stand fancy gatherings. Why don't you go instead of me? Okay, there are a couple of tickets in there, so have some fun with a friend or something. Sounds great. 
Before we go, though, let's have a little look around the office, and I guess we'll talk to Freya. They really want to talk to us here. Oh my gosh, Freya. Relax, dude. Freya was completely surprised that Bill emerged from the smoke. Okay, well, let's go give them a little pet right here. You got a pet, Freya. You, you can't just leave them alone. Oh, they don't like that. I'm really good at finding the spots they don't like. There we go. Okay. So yeah, let's go take a look around. There's a blanket hanging off the sofa for some reason. Glad I looked at that. That's important. Let's go look at the teleportation system. Sure, why not? Yeah, there's just a few things. Like I said, I'm trying to show off like every bit of unique dialogue in the entire game that I can find. So, well, we got to talk to everything, including the PC right here. There's actually something pretty fancy here. Which one do you want to see? So this is the Pokedex entry for 144, 145, and 146. Let's go take a look. Here I am at the Seafoam Islands in my search for Pokemon I've never seen before. I came across some rapids underground that were too fast to swim across. I was exploring that area when suddenly I was hit by a blast of freezing cold! It was as if I was stuck in a blizzard. I got so cold I began to black out. As my consciousness faded, I saw a pair of shiny wings over the waves. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Articuno? When I came to, I was lying on the ground outside of the cave for some reason. I need to practice my swimming so that next time I can capture Articuno for sure. Which one do you want to see? So yeah, that's Articuno. So remember the Seafoam Islands. We'll have to check that out. Well, let's go check out 145. Here I am at the abandoned power plant in my search for Pokemon I've never seen before. I had no idea you could reach this place by swimming from that spot on Route 10. As I was exploring, one of the Pokeballs lying around suddenly attacked me and made a huge explosion and knocked me out. But I do remember seeing some jagged looking wings as I blacked out. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Zapdos? When I came to, I found myself lying outside the power plant. As soon as I become able to withstand those explosions, I'm going back to catch Zapdos. Sorry for all the cuts, guys. I'm having so much trouble reading these for some reason. And this is number 146. Here I am at Victory Road in my search for Pokemon I've never seen before. It seems you can't get very far without doing something about the stone walls in the way. As I was exploring the cave, I saw the most beautiful Pokemon. It was so beautiful that I got overwhelmed and passed out. As I did, though, I saw it flap its brightly burning wings. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Moltres? When I came to, I was all alone. Next time, I've got to stay conscious so I can capture Moltres for sure. Which one do you want to see? And that's it, guys. But alrighty, with all of that out of the way, we can finally go and do the gym battle. So let's go get to it. We don't have the most levels on Freya, or on Aya. Freya's doing just fine. I would love to get some more stuff for Aya, but... Oh well, there is a couple trainers on the way to the actual gym leader as there was in the Pewter City gym, so hopefully that'll help out. But really, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. I thought we'd get another level or two by now, but oh well, we'll just we'll just make do with what we got. And I think if I do have a rare candy, I'll go ahead and finally use that. But for now, let's just go ahead and take the shortcut back to Cerulean. And on the way, there's quite a few berries to grab, so I'm going to make sure I get all those that I can. There's some right up in... Oh, never mind. There is a berry here, but we have to let Aya find it. So let's see, we get a raspberry, very nice. And now let's go down across this little hill. I love the little hill, that's so cute, dude. And now we've got some pineapple berries as well, and I'm pretty sure that's it for this area. I'll keep an eye on Freya's tail just in case, but no, we're good. Okay, so let's go back, let's heal up, and let's go do the gym battle. All right, we're healed up, and in we go. Now there's something special about this gym, as there was for the first gym where we had to have a grass-type Pokemon. This one, they're gonna require something as well. Thankfully, we've got the requirement. It's a pretty simple one. Yo, champ in the making! Misty, the gym leader of the Cerulean City Gym, is a powerful trainer. You'll need a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to challenge her gym. Show me a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to take on the gym. So right now, Freya is the only one that is higher than 15, so we'll go ahead and show them. I forgot to use the rare candy, so we'll go ahead and do that. But yeah, as long as you've got a level 15 Pokemon, you're good to go. Technically, I have Pokemon in the 40s, but we're not going to worry about that. Yeah, we've got the two rare candies. Let's go ahead and use them on Aya just to get them caught up a little bit here. Now, they want to learn a move called Fury Swipes. I would not recommend getting this move because it's not very good. Let's go take a look. So it's got 18 power, but the trick is that it can hit 2 to 5 times. So 5 times 18, whatever that is. Hold on, let me get a calculator out. 90! So you've got a chance to do upwards of 90 damage. The downside is if you only get two hits, it's really bad. And look at the accuracy, it's only 80. So I would say skip Fury Swipes, just use Headbutt. Why would you use Fury Swipes? I don't know. So give up on learning the move. Okay, so now I is level 16. Let's go do these battles. Or let's go read this sign right here, which will tell us that Yarrick has already defeated the gym. So we got a little bit of catching up to do here. Well, let's go battle our first trainer. Oh my gosh, that was like a double front flip pike thing. I don't know, man. Appearing in a glamorous flash, my Pokemon will totally stomp you. 
Let's see if her Pokemon even have legs to stomp us with. Here it is, we've got Beauty Lily with one Pokemon, and it's going to be a Goldeen, a Pokemon with no legs. So I don't know how she's gonna stomp us. We've seen Goldeen before, we know that they can confuse us, we know that they have Peck, which is very good against Aya, so we're just gonna hopefully not get wrecked by that. And let's go for the Absorb. The extra levels that we got from the Rare Candies will help. But the downside is that, well, this Pokemon is a higher level than the other Goldene as well. Oh my gosh, we did more than half though, so as long as we don't get critical hit by their peck, I think we're going to be fine. We might barely survive, but we'll see. Now right there, you notice how Freya is dancing with the Joy-Con. If I shake the Joy-Con, they'll actually do a special move where they'll boost all of our stats. They'll boost our attack, defense, all that crud. Oh my gosh, we survived with one HP, holy crud. Yeah, Io would boost all of our stats. The downside is that it would take up our turn, so I didn't really want to do that. Luckily, we survived with one HP there, and down goes Goldane. Blub, blub. It's only been one battle, but it looks like it's already time to go back and heal. I used up all of my energy with my fantastic dive. It was pretty fantastic. Now, there's another trainer to the right there, and we could skip them by going like that if we want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually battle all the trainers in here, so let's just go walk right in front of them, see if they'll do the pike. Oh, there they did it, man! Holy crud! Hmm? Me? I'm a beautiful girl who glides on the water. Glides! Beauty Violet. One Pokemon once again, and this one's gonna be a Pokemon we have not seen before, Shelder. Now, Shelter is a Water-type Pokemon once again, but he does know an Ice-type attack, so we have to be careful of that. However, Aya is not nearly as weak to Ice as they are to, uh, as they are to Flying-type to that Peck, so this shouldn't do too much. Yeah, not even half. That was a critical as well, so yeah, not too bad. We'll almost defeat them in one shot, and really that's gonna heal up a lot of HP, almost all of it. So we might not even need to go back and heal after this one. Let's see how much this Ice Shard does. Probably not that much unless he gets another critical. Looks like we're good. <sighs> I could go back and heal. I think I'm gonna be a little bit risky and just go to the next trainer without doing that though. I'm soaked! My tears are making the pool water even saltier. I did not need to know that. Let's go battle this last trainer here before the gym leader. Whoa! And let's see what they got. Did you see that dive just now? Don't you think it's deserving of a gold medal? I think her dive was a 7.8 out of 10. Too much splash, but here we've got a seal. Seal's yet another water-type Pokemon, but thankfully, this seal does not know an ice-type attack or a flying-type attack or anything like that. So they really shouldn't be able to do very much damage to Aya. I could use that buff from Freya, but if I can, I want to save that for the gym leader. They're going to go for Aqua Jet. Not going to do Crud. So let's go for Absorb and probably 3-shot. Yeah, seal is pretty tough, so... Not gonna go down in two, but three should do the trick here. All right, I hit him with the second Absorb, and we're gonna go for a third, but they're going for Headbutt, so we might get flinched here. No, we get lucky, good, okay. So we get through, that should be enough, and it is. So down goes Seal, I uh, effectively defeated all of these trainers, but let's see how they do against the actual gym leader. Your Pokemon totally deserve a gold medal. Thank you, dude. This gym's pool uses water from the ocean, wow. Well, there is no more delaying. We have to go and do the gym battle, so let's go get right to it. We're healed up, Aya is ready to go. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy for battle is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. My sweet Pokemon are ready. Are you? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. We've got a level 16 uh, Paris and a level 19 Eevee. Gym leader Misty, she's got two Pokemon herself, Sending out a Psyduck. We've seen Psyduck before, but let's see if we can deal with this one. Now, if Freya still has that buff, I'm gonna go ahead and use it right now, just to get that extra defense mainly, but the attack will help as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and that should give us a plus one to like all of our stats. Boom, attack rows, defense rows, special attack, special defense speed. Oh yeah, all five of them. They're gonna go for confusion, not that damaging on Aya right here. So very good. We can actually go take a look at our stats right here if we go look at Aya. You can see we have a boost to mostly everything, not accuracy or evasiveness, but don't worry about that, Crud. Let's just go. Oh, not that. Let's just go to fight. And against this Psyduck, I think we're just going to go for Absorb. I don't think we really have to use any status effects on this one, because Psyduck is, yeah, he's going to go down in two Absorbs. We're going to heal a ton of damage right here. It's really the second Pokemon that we have to worry about, not the first one. Okay, does seven damage. I think we can heal pretty much all of that with this Absorb. 
And if we do, we're going to be in a really great spot for this next one. Especially with this boost from Freya. That's really going to help us out. And yes, we're back to full HP on this one. Awesome. And her next Pokemon is Starmie. Starmie is a very tough Pokemon. I was originally planning to use Sleep Powder on this Starmie, but I got rid of Sleep Powder for Headbutt. So instead, I think I'm going to go for Stun Spore and see if that helps me out. Stun Spore will have the benefit of allowing me to go first. But Starmie does a lot of damage. Yes, we did not miss the stun spore. I was so worried about that. So now that we get to go first, I'm going to start spamming Absorb. And hopefully that will heal up enough, especially with that defense boost from Freya. I'm really hoping we can heal more than they're able to damage us. We might have to get lucky and have them get stuck a couple of times. Oh my gosh, critical hit. Yes, dude. Well, that's definitely swinging the luck in our favor. They're going to go for Swift. Swift is not that strong, but the thing about Swift is it'll never miss. But, well, let's just go for Absorb. What, did I just... Oh, I thought I missed for a second. Okay, if we just hit him one more time, we'll be fine. If we could have got a second critical hit, that would have been amazing. But we are doing so good. We got lucky by landing the stun spore, and then we get lucky by actually getting that critical. Very awesome. And that's gonna do it, guys. Aya destroys that star me. So easy. I mean, we got a little bit low on HP, but, man, we, we did it. 346 experience, almost getting all the way up to level 17. I guess Frittata's getting 15 for some reason. Going to learn Super Fang, but I'm going to keep my old moves because I'm not going to use them. You beat Gym Leader Misty. Wow, you're too much. We get some money, and it's time to get our second Gym Badge, guys. All right, you can have a Cascade Badge to show that you beat me. All right, Freya, we did it, dude. Oh, the tail whip to the hand. My hand's defense is lowered. A Cascade Badge makes Pokemon up to level 30 from other trainers listen to you. And you can also have my favorite TM. We get Scald. Scald is a water type attack, but it has a chance to burn. Scald is very, very good. One of the best water type attacks in the entire game. TM29 teaches Pokemon the move Scald. Use it on po a Pokemon that lives in the water. Okay, let's see how Freya feels about that victory. I mean, I feel kind of bad because Freya's been kind of playing the backseat. They haven't really got to play that much in these recent battles, except for just helping out Aya. But I kind of have had to do that just to catch Aya up. But now that they're kind of catching up, we can use Freya a lot more, which is going to be awesome. But let's go ahead and talk to Misty one more time. She just says the same thing. But all right, guys, we got ourselves our second gym badge, and we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time, and we're going to make our way all the way to the next main city. So I'll see you guys then. Take care! Take care!